If you want to know what it's like to hack into a computer, and I mean exactly how it works, not some theory or some slides, then you're in the right place. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Your target computer or network is like a home. It has doors, windows, and possibly even mail slots. The larger the home, the more doors and windows you can expect. In short, the bigger the home, the bigger the attack surface, and therefore, the bigger the opportunity to get in. Let's assume you've been hired to find ways to get into this home, which in our case is a computer or a website, really. The first thing we do to start off the test after the legal work is done is to scope the property. Intelligence gathering is what it's called. We gather information about the home, meaning look at the home, or maybe with Google Maps, look at the geolocation, the neighborhood where it's located, the entry and exit points. And also through social media, identify any useful information that can help us get in, legally, of course. So what do we do? Well, translated into our hacking scenario, we look for open ports. Think of these as windows. Or we can identify any login pages. Think of these as doors. Next, we look for any weaknesses with the identified doors and windows. Is the lock weak and easy to pick? Maybe a window was left unlocked, or worse yet, it was left open with the lights turned on showing exactly what's in the room. So if the port is open and you try connecting to it through a service running on the port that is vulnerable, well, in rare cases, that's it. That's all you need to get in because someone didn't make sure to secure things on the other end. And once you reach your goal, you're done. You let the owner know where the weaknesses are so they can fix the vulnerabilities. But most of the time, it's really not that easy. The reality is the window will be closed and the lights will be turned off and even the curtains are drawn. So you have to try other ways to get in and figure out what works and what doesn't. But maybe instead of worrying about all the security measures and figuring out which doors and windows are open, if they have dogs or security guards or even security cameras, what if you could simply have someone invite you in, like a vampire being invited in? Let's see how it's done. You come with a smile in an unsuspecting way and ring the doorbell and have them invite you in. This is done with a payload. You send the person a letter. Essentially, it's an email or a URL or possibly a fake app depending on the scope of the test. They click on it, access it, and unknowingly open a back door to your computer or network, allowing you access into your home without knowing that the fangs are about to come out. That's right, they have no clue as to who you are and what you intend to do. The problem is, sometimes organizations, people really, have security measures or defense in depth in place, where the entry point has an EDR or an AV deployed. That's like having a mirror right inside your door, and when they find out you, Mr. Vampire, have no reflection, well, the jig is up and your red teaming activity at an end. Unless you know ahead of time that they know that you know. You know what I mean? meaning that defenders will usually know that there is an attack expected, so therefore they'll take the necessary measures. And knowing what defenses are in place is important, because then you can bypass the security controls in place with proper planning ahead of time. You can sneak around, and that's right, just don't let them see you in the mirror. And move laterally, because once inside, why wait? Just move laterally and even vertically to get to your goal. More often, not only will there be defenses in place right inside the door or the computer or network that you have successfully compromised, but also at the network level by them having NDRs or honeypots in place. So any anomalous activity would be like you having your fangs out with a pasty face, which let's admit is not very appealing and pretty suspicious. In that case, if they do have NDRs or honey nets, you better have done your homework with intelligence gathering at the start and also continue to do so throughout the engagement all the way till you reach your goal. Once you achieve your goal, the keys to the castle, this could be access to sensitive information or account passwords of the domain admin depending on the scope that you agreed on. This is when you start cleanup and call it a day and submit your report to the client of a job well done and move on to the next project.